There should be greater attention paid to the impacts on single person households. It's, it's a no brainer. We've told everyone stay in your house, but what if you live on your own? We've got a situation where we have a lot of blanket rules about no, no contact. In Australia at the moment, it, we had a lot of international students who studied in our university. They're not allowed in the country because we've sealed off the borders. These students um, are worth an enormous amount of money to our economy. Why doesn't the government foot the bill to allow these students to come back to Australia, quarantine for two to three weeks, and then allow them to be in the community and keep going with their studies? We're not hearing a lot of this careful, balanced thoughtful ideas, I think, at the moment. I think you can take that idea and apply it to situations of, um, say, single people and single person households. But why not have a situation where people who have self-isolated for a number of, I don't know, weeks are potentially allowed to, um, I don't know, register along with other people and then be allowed to, to mingle and meet. At the moment, the government in Australia has, um, we, we've just had the launch of a thing called a COVID tracking app. And so the federal government here put out an app. You're not forced to, but they've encouraged everybody in Australia to download this app. It enables the government to detect where you are. It sounds like kind of like Orwellian, <laughs> just but you got to hear it to the end. Um, okay. Enables the government to know where you are and who you're with, who's around you. Uh, it doesn't enable them to like listen to your conversations, track your text messages, um, know anything necessarily that you're doing. It's as they've said, only going to be used for the purposes of if you happen to be infected, they can then work out who was around you mm. and who you've been around and they can go straight to contact those people and go, hey, you're a risk, you're around this dude who we know is infected. And they have promised that the data will all be erased as soon as COVID's done. We don't have to do this one size fits all mass policy. Mm -hmm.